Okay, here's an update on my uh, pyrolytic graphite bearing project, trying to uh, replicate what Laser Saber's done with this very low friction uh, bearing for a very, very low amperage pulse motor. And uh, I got my ring magnets finally. Um, I was using this array right here with the little um, disc on that thing. And uh, you can see how it's not real stable. It doesn't want to stay in the middle. It bobbles around on the field. But this is the ring magnet with a regular magnet in the middle. And watch what happens here. And there's the bearing that I was looking for right there. And um, what I'm running into here is... Um, it's very, very low friction, of course. It's just air friction, basically, and the fields don't seem to bother one another. Um, I've got it going on here, but there are so many variables on this setup that, um, I mean, you have to get everything exactly right for this to work. Uh, this is just a little solar driver out of a solar waiver uh, powering this thing, but uh, if that's not just right, this... Uh, this doesn't stay stable. Plus, there's very little power on that thing. I need a bigger disc, maybe. Um, that's a bigger disc there. It's uh, working pretty darn good. But um, anyway, this is what Laser Saber is using is a ring magnet um, with another magnet in the middle. And it's north on one, south on the other, and they jam together. They have to be neomagnets. And then a disk of uh, pyrolytic graphite will float in the field and exert an upward pressure uh, in order to be able to balance permanent magnets versus the pyrolytic graphite. And it works, um, like I say, if you get everything exactly right. But man, it's touchy. Um, the other thing I wanted to show real quick was this thing here is still working. And... Um, this is going on a few weeks now with that button cell. You can see the button cell in the back there. It's holding about 2.97 volts. And at night, this, of course, slows way down, and it gets real wobbly. But uh, it, it is continuing to run. So I'm kind of scratching my head now um, how successful that's going to end up being and how long before that hole in the middle wears so much that it becomes so floppy that it just uh, doesn't work anymore. But anyway, that's where I'm at with these um, bearing projects that uh, I've been working for. Uh, we're trying to get something that uh, reduces the friction so that um, you don't have a bearing failure with time. You know, a lot of these bearings will work real good for a while until the friction builds up in the bearing. Then because the drive units are so small and such a small amount of power, any amount of friction build up and the darn thing just stops. And it stops when you're not around and it doesn't restart. These pulse motors, uh, at least the ones I'm building, don't have a, an auto restart function. Once they stop, they just stay dead. So um, this one here, of course, would start up uh, anytime the sun hits it. And uh, I may let this run and uh, maybe put a battery on that one, like that other one, and just uh, see if I can keep this going for, you know, a few weeks and see what happens. Thanks for watching.